Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Greg Anderson, and welcome to the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. In this episode, I want to give you a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, let's say you've got one of these great Casio watches. This is uh, one of the models of the WVA M630, and this is one of the models of the WVA M640. And well, they, they have a little digital display window down in the bottom and also analog hands. And normally, the, the digital display, the time in that display would be exactly the same as what the analog hands are showing. Maybe you've run into a situation now and then where they don't agree with each other. Usually that means the digital display is going to be correct, but the analog hands are somehow out of alignment. Don't panic. That doesn't necessarily mean your watch is, uh, is broken and you, you can't do anything about it. There actually is a procedure as a user that you can try to realign those hands and with any luck, that's all you need to do. Your watch is just fine. So let me show that to you right now. Okay, here you can see the problem. These watches all use the same module, so they should all be showing the same thing if they're all working correctly. They've all received their uh, atomic time from WWVB, so they should be showing the same time. But as you can see, the analog hands on this watch are not the same. Right here, the seconds, okay, that lines up with the second hand on both of these watches, but not with this one. And the minutes, that lines up with these watches on the sides, but this one in the middle, that is about five minutes fast. So since these hands are not in the right position compared to the, the digital display, does that mean the watch is defective? No, it just means it's out of alignment and there's a way to adjust that. So let me just quickly show you how this is done. Now, Casio doesn't want you to get into this mode accidentally. So you have to hold down the adjustment button for an extra long period of time in order to get to the hand setting mode. See, if you just press this once, it's actually a little uh, light that lights up the display from down here. If you press and hold this button on the upper right side, then you start to get into the adjustment screens and you can go in and you can set, you know, 24 hour mode, your time zone, all those sorts of things you can manually set there. But what you want to do is hold this down for an extra long period of time. So hold it. Okay. And it says, let's see, it says adjust, but keep holding it and keep holding it. And now it goes to hand set. All right. So what it's supposedly just showed you is the second hand in the uh, straight up 12 o'clock position, but okay, that's wrong. Uh, you know, it, it, th this thinks that that's the 12 o'clock straight up position for the second hand. You need to adjust that. And you do that by pushing this button right here on the lower right side. Each time I push it, it's going to advance by one second. So I just keep pushing it, keep going around until I reach uh, the 12 o'clock position. So let me just keep doing that, push, push, push. And as you can see, it's going one full second ahead every time I push this button here. And there I go now, it's pointing straight up to the 12. And you know, maybe it looks like it's not exactly right. That's just kind of the position of the camera, but okay. That is the 12 o'clock position on the second hand. So now the second hand is correct. Now I need to adjust uh, the minute hand and the hour hand. I mean, that, that minute hand was off. So now I push this button down here on the lower left, and now it goes into uh, the mode where I'm going to, again, adjust those larger hands. What it's doing right now is it's supposedly going to show me the 12 o'clock straight up position on the hands. And well, it's wrong. It's five minutes fast. So right there, there's a plus next to these flashing zeros. That means that every time I push this button here on the lower right, it's going to advance. And it's going to advance by one sixth of a minute. You see during normal operation, every 10 seconds, this minute hand advances. So it takes six times to make it go ahead by one minute. So if I demonstrate that right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's gone one minute ahead. Well, okay, but I didn't really want it to go ahead. I'm supposed to have these hands going to the straight up 12 position so that I know that the hands are in the correct alignment. So I push this button down here on the lower left again. And here you see this now shows minus and flashing zeros. So now when I push this button down here on the right, 
it's going to go back by one sixth of a minute every time I push the button. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so now I'm five minutes ahead. I need to press it 30 times to get it back to the straight up 12 o'clock position. So let's count that off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And now, uh, again, the camera angle maybe makes it look like it's not perfect, but that is the straight up 12 o'clock position on all of the hands. If at this point I still wanted to make more adjustments, I could press this, uh, this button down here on the left again, and this allows me to double check the seconds, push it again, and again, that's uh, going to let me adjust the, the other hands, either forward or backward. But if I'm all done, there's a couple things I can do. I can either stop pressing buttons and leave it alone for two or three minutes, and then it'll, it'll automatically go back to normal timekeeping mode if I just leave it alone for about eh, three minutes or so, or press this button here on the upper right again, and that takes me back to normal timekeeping mode. So as you just saw, the second hand raced around to the correct position, and now it's just ticking like normal, and these other hands are racing as fast as they can can until they will show the normal time. And let me just zoom out quickly here so you can see how we compare to the other watches now. Uh, looks like the second hand is already in agreement with uh, the second hand on these other watches, and that agrees with what it should be. And look, the, uh, the other hands have adjusted properly. That's 9.54 and 10 seconds. And did you notice at the 10 second mark, you had just a small advance on uh, on this minute hand. And right here at the 20 second mark, it's going to go again. Okay. And now my hands are correct. I shouldn't have to make that adjustment very often, if ever. But again, if, if I find that my, uh, my analog hands are not in agreement with the digital readout, which is kind of the master readout on this watch, then I should make that adjustment and see if that fixes the problem before I assume that there's something defective about the watch. We're good to go again here, and I hope it lasts for years and years without ever having to make that adjustment again. Now, in order to do this demonstration, I purposely put the hands out of alignment just so I could show you how to fix it. But I, I should note that in my real life experience, I've got an older version of this watch that I've had for about six years. And in that entire six year time period, there's only been one time that the hands were out of alignment and I used a simple procedure like this and got it back to correct alignment. It's been fine ever since. So I'm hoping that if you ever have this problem, it's going to be rare. Again, you can quickly fix it and you're, you're good to go. Reasons why the hands might get out of alignment, maybe you set the watch down on something that creates a, a you know, a, quite a significant magnetic field. Like you've got a really big stereo speaker and you set it on there over the, overnight, you know, and, and that could cause some problem. Anything that again, causes strong electromagnetic uh, interference, like maybe I, I stuck it on top of a microwave oven and left it there for a few days and people were using the, the kitchen and, you know. So that could be the cause of why it went out of alignment. Maybe just some extreme shock, like, yeah, I wore the watch during that week when I was working as a jackhammer operator or when we went uh, mountain biking and we were just shaking all over the place. Um, so again, it's, it's pretty simple and I'm hoping that that simple procedure took care of everything for you. And well, anyway, I hope to have more helpful videos for you soon. Thank you for watching The Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And again, hope to see you right here on YouTube.